I got pregnant immediately I left school. My father didn't want to see me because of the baby. I was already hopeless before I went into the makeup business. When my dad, because of the crisis, when they had to move, the responsibility kind of fell on us. About two months when my husband lost his job. Before House of Tara, I was schooling. And while I was schooling, I was doing meals for students in school. It was not easy. It was sure. Being a guy in this industry comes with its own challenges. People started calling me names, uh, you're an homosexual, you're a gay. I was like, wow, because of how so tired. People see you somehow like, they don't see you as like other guys. They just feel maybe you are weaker than other guys because you are into ladies' stores and all. Even some people would be like, why didn't you add pants and bra to your makeup box so it will be complete? I found myself paying school fees. <laughs> My certificate was with him. Everything was with him. I couldn't go back to school, no masters, no nothing. I couldn't work. I was close to doing something really stupid because I had options now. And I'm a university babe. I got control and stuff. I was doing practically nothing. I had become hopeless and helpless as a result of waiting for a job. Uh, though I've always had this desire to want to do something and get me extra cash, I went online and was searching for a Nigerian product that I could market and that I could make something out of. I went to House of Tara. House of Tara, you know, it's an, an household name that almost everybody in Nigeria, if not everybody in Nigeria knows. So I traveled to Ghana to go and work, and when I got back, I had a month free. So I decided to go there and do something instead of sitting down at home. House of Tara has really empowered me. It's really given me something to do with my time. Honestly, House of Tara has really changed my life. Not just my life, even my facial look. My name is Tara Filadrute and I'm the creative director of House of Tara. Well, maybe see you sometimes. Well, the business is 16 years and I was a law undergraduate at the time when I started the business. Um, I was raised by a stepmother who was very, very fashionable, loved makeup. Hundred Voices, I think I would say that um, it, it started in December of 2012. Um, we normally appreciate our, rep our sales representatives, these are ladies who sell our products across Nigeria, across the country, to say we, we appreciate you and we identify who we call the most valuable reps in those cities. I go to different cities where we have branches and sort of honor and celebrate our representatives in those areas for the end of the year to say thank you, really appreciate what you've done in terms of contribution to our uh, sales revenue, but also, you know, um, to what we're capable of, we're able to do in the country. I really can't find the right word to describe this whole weekend thing, but it's been beautiful. I've enjoyed my weekend so far that I don't miss anybody at home. I like food, so I'll, I'll start from the dinner side. <laughs> we had dinner, dinner with friends, um, and this dinner helped me to meet a friend I've not seen for a long time. Oh, it helped me to meet Miss Tara herself. Apart from the fact that we've been doing photo shoots, going from place to places, and seeing different parts of Lagos, I really don't like coming to Lagos because it's too busy for me. But I'm enjoying it this time. Everything is free. Some years back, I, 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 I was at the local airport and um, an elderly woman tapped me. So I thought, oh, you know, maybe she's recognized me from magazines or from TV. And she said to me, oh, 
do you, do you know someone so and so? And I said, yes, I do. She said, oh, she's one of your sales reps um, in Abelkota. I said, oh, yes, of course I know her. She's, she's won several awards since she's been doing the business. And her mother said, you know, I can't appreciate you enough and thank you enough for what you're doing and what you've done in the life of my daughter. I said, oh, really? She said, yes. I said, you know, it's so funny how she was such a timid child, timid, you know, and then grew up into a timid adult. And, and she started to do this business and I could see her blossom. I could see her become more confident in herself and in her communication skills. And I always talk about the fact that you ask me how, how, does, how do you transfer from a timid person to become a more confident person? And I say it's in your ability to sell. When you started to sell, when you've learned the techniques and you know you, you have your punch, and you've used your punch a few times, you know where, where, how it works, you become confident in yourself. It's helped my own personality. I'm not the shy girl that I used to be before. I'm not the very, very quiet person, the introvert I used to be before. My confidence level went up the roof. I just became a different person. People saw me differently, and that made me so, so happy. I practiced the, the art of being able to share my vision. If you're carrying people along with you, whether they're 80 people or they're 10,000 people um, in your employment, it's important that as a leader, you're able to, to share the vision to the extent that people can, can see it and they can see how they fit into it because you're able to communicate it properly. So House of Tara as a brand, I have consistently applied that communication, be able to share the vision, share it in a way that it is clear, they can write it and they can run with it. So whatever it is that you're doing, it's you. It, that is important. And so if I'm speaking anywhere, whether it's when I have workshops with the reps or I'm granting an interview, I also remember that that is what I want to be able to share with people and I want them to be able to have something tangible that they can carry along with them because in the day where there's hardship and there's stress and you feel down, you need those words. And then she says something that really touched my heart. That if you can do anything, so far you put your mind to it, that whatever you think, you know, this is what I want to do, then why don't you give it a try? Give it a push, then you will achieve your goal. That really touched my heart. And I'm like, God, this is the push that I, I really need. As a teacher at that time, I was just being paid 20,000 Naira monthly. So, when I graduated from House of Tara and had three makeups in a month, I already had 150,000 Naira, so I resigned. Today, does anybody in this place, anybody, do you need a man to buy credit for you? No. Does anybody here need anybody to buy phone for you? No. Do you need to, do you need to kiss somebody because no. of that? In that case, then I'm going to ask you to put your hands together for the visionary. I say to my employees that it's almost as though you must, every time you see a person come into the studio and say they want to come to makeup school, don't just see them as a customer or as, as a transaction. See them as a life that you're building. House of Tara has really impacted in me. Um, a whole lot about me has really changed ever since I encountered House of Tara. If you hadn't given me the opportunity to register as a rep with 15750 which I did not even have at that time. Someone had to give me the money. If you did not give me that opportunity to register with that meager amount of money, I don't think I would be in business today and I don't think I would have risen to this level. Probably I would, I would do other things, but I might not even be fulfilled. Almost everything about my life, social life, financial aspects. I now have a dream of, of uh, opening a beauty spa. And I'm proud to be part of this success story because she has made me an entrepreneur and a better wife. A big thank you and more grace to our elbow. Thank you for changing my life. How this woman cannot be more than 45. I, I don't think she's up to 45. And she has done this much. She's as in ranking with Mac, ranking with Iman products, and no, this is a good thing. To touch a lot of people's lives. There's so many people that I think in Nigeria they don't give back. For her, she's given back to the community. As in, she has really done me good. Thank you for touching my life positively. I can't ask for more. Tara, I just want to say, God bless you. Seriously, I wish she's my sister. <laughs>
She's God sent. I love you. I love you. Thank you for this platform. A big thank you to House of Tara. To Tara herself. She has been personally an inspiration. House of Tara has dramatically changed my life in the sense that it has taken me away from the ground zero. And when I say ground zero, I mean ground zero. Someone that other people not look at and they say, oh, I want to be like you. You inspire me. I would love to say, Mom, thank you for giving me the opportunity to grow in life and to empower older young ladies out there um, who are not privileged, you know. If not for Tara, like I said, I don't think I'll be where I am right now. My success story will not be complete without Tara Fela Jote. She's the reason why I'm here. You are an inspiration to me. And you may never realize that, you may never understand it, but you are an inspiration to me. When I hear your stories and I see your progress, I'm inspired to do more. But I want you, you to also know that you are also an inspiration to other people. You may not see them, they also may not know, but every time you step out of your house, you take your, your, your beauty kit, you go to a customer, you attend to them, you sell your products to them. Someone else is watching you from afar, maybe close, and they're thinking, this is what Antikemi can do. I can also do it. The opportunity that we have now to showcase your story, the whole idea behind it is to let people know that they can because you did. Say cheese. 